Hello students, welcome to today's video. So today's video will be about phylogenetic tree. This will be part 1. So let's begin. Before going further, I would like to explain what is a phylogenetic tree. Phylogenetic tree is basically a tree which shows the differences between two species or uh, you can say how closely or how evolutionary related these two species are in nature. Like for suppose in this, in this example A and B are closely related like same way C and D are related then A, B, C, D they both have or they f all the four of them have a common ancestor so basically phylogenetic tree is nothing but a tree which shows uh, phylogenetic distance or evolutionary distance between two or more species now there are few methods for uh, cons for constructing a tree like this I'll be explaining uh, method UPGMA or unweighted pair group method with arithmetic mean in this uh, video the rest of the methods I'll be covering in the next videos so uh, briefly going through these methods uh, one is UPGMA another one is transform distance method next one is neighbors relation method another one is neighbor joining method another one is maximum likelihood approaches so uh, for UPGMA first we need to have some sequences for which we need to calculate the phylogenetic tree or we have to generate a phylogenetic tree so uh, in this uh, I have taken an example of six sequences A, B, C, D, E and F so with the help of these sequences I'll be generating a phylogenetic tree to show how these uh, sequences are related to each other so first step in generating of uh, phylogenetic tree is align the sequences against one another so first of all you have to align these sequences along each other okay now next is compare the sequences a b and compare the sequences a c or you have basically you have to compare all these sequences among each other so you then uh, you can calculate how much uh, how much similar they are with each other and how much dissimilar they are with each other so like for example uh, if i consider a and b so uh, you can see we have three matches like gg this gg and this gg we have three matches and rest of them are mismatches so i can say there are uh, three matches and nine mismatches same wise if i ca if i have to uh, compare sequence a and c i'll be getting different numbers for matches and mismatches now after getting all these numbers we have to generate a matrix on the x axis and y axis of the matrix we have to put the sequences like here in this example i have put a b c d on uh, this axis and a b c d on this axis now how this matrix will be filled this matrix will be filled by the number of differences between the two sequences like if suppose I if, if i have to fill this place then how i will fill how i will fill based on the sequence a and b how many differences they are having like how many mismatches they are having among, among each other like for a and b we have three matches and nine mismatches so we will be filling this box will number nine same wise a between different between uh, sequences a and c we have two mismatches for d a and d have four mismatches a and d have nine mismatches similarly the complete mat matrix will be filled now moving to the next step next step is to identify which is the lowest value in the matrix field so in this example we have got the lowest value as 2 2 is the value between sequence a and c and another 2 is a value between sequence b and e so what we can say is a and c are more closely related similarly b and e are more closely related so we have generated a partial uh, phylogenetic tree between a c and b e considering a and c are closely related same wise b and d are closely related now now what to do next no, we have to do what do we have to do next is we have to after uh, generating this partial diagram we have to consider ac as a single entity and be as a single entity or you can say ac as one sequence be as one sequence and we have to fill the matrix again like in this example i have filled this matrix we have i have replaced a Row, row of A and C I have replaced with AC same wise column of A and C has been replaced with AC so we are considering AC as a single sequence or single entity now we have to fill again this matrix how we gonna fill we have same wise like we for filling up this box we have to calculate the average between AB and CB so for 
the from where we can get the value of AB. AB distance between AB we can get the value from this matrix. It is nine. Again, C and B we can get the value from here. C and B is again nine. So the nine and nine, there are two values. So if we have to take the average, that will be nine, which we have filled here. Now same wise. For filling up of this box, we have to calculate distance between AD and CD. AD we are getting four, and CD we are getting five. So four plus five upon two is equal to four point five. Same wise, this value is filled. This value has been filled. Rest of the values can be copied from the same matrix or from the previous matrix. Okay. So now moving further, we have generated a matrix considering AC as a single entity. Now we have to generate an another matrix where we are considering B and E as single entity. So we will be extending this matrix to uh, accommodate B and E. So uh, B and E after accommodation, the matrix will look like look look like this. And how to fill these values? We have to fill these values. So we have to calculate the average between A C B. And A C B E. So how are we gonna fill this? We can get the values A C B from here. A C B is nine, and then again A C E is nine. So we are again getting the values nine plus nine divided by two is equal to nine. Again for this value A C D we need. So A C D we is we are having four point five. For A C F we are having ten. Now for B E D B E D for filling up this value we have to calculate distance between B D and E D. So B D we can get from B D is six. And ED, we can get this from this again six. So six and six again twelve divided by two is six. So we are getting this value as six, and then rest of the values are the same. Now again, after completing uh, two separate entities, considering AC and B as two separate entities or two separate sequences, we have to find the lowest value in the matrix. So lowest value in this matrix is again this four point five. So we can say. 4.5 lies with ACD, so we can say D is more closely related to AC. So we have created another branch of this uh, phylogenetic tree where D is showing as closely related to AC, not BE, because it lies in the matrix with AC. So this is again a partial diagram. Now this uh, 4.5 we have identified as the lowest value. Now we have to consider ACD as a single entity and BE as a single entity. We have already calculated the matrix with BE as a single entity. So we have to calculate an another matrix where we are considering ACD as single entity. So after con uh, considering ACD as single entity, we are getting this matrix ACD. So how gonna we gonna fill this value? We are getting here 7.5. We are how we are getting it? We are getting by Get taking values from this matrix. So for filling up A C B A C D B E, we have to take the average of values A C B E. A C B E is nine. Then D and B E, D and B E, we are getting six. So nine plus six is fifteen upon two is seven point five. We are getting here. Again A C D F we have to calculate. So A C A C F we can get from here. This is ten. Then D and F. D and F we are getting again from here ten, so we are getting average ten. Again, the B E value can be same. Now we have to see again the smallest value. Smallest value is seven point five, so we can say that B E is more closely related to A C D. Okay, so we have again created a diagram where we can show B E is related to A C D. Now we have left with the value F. Or the final sequence where we don't know how to put where to put this, so we have to again check its value. It is showing same values or same same distance from A C D and B E. So we have to put this in su in such a fashion so that it can show similar differences between A C D and B E. So we will put this uh, F sequence here. So this is the how a phylogenetic tree can be created using the U P G M A method. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.